Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about some new features that are currently rolling out in Windows 11 in the latest build for the dev channel. So Microsoft didn't release any new builds for the dev channel last week, but they started rolling out some new features for the latest build, which is 262.120.961 for version 24H2. And because they have this new enable one package, they can easily roll out some new features that are hidden behind the scenes on certain builds without having to increase the build number. Right now, the feature rollout for these new features is paused because there are a few bugs but if you want to test that out of course you're going to have the command for vive tool in the article below if you want to enable all of these new features there's only one command and one id if you want to enable that that was discovered by phantom machine 3 so don't forget to check out the article below if you're interested in the id that enables all these new features so if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all related to the narrator narrator users can now use voice access to dictate text hands-free related to voice access Microsoft is introducing auto restart and also new voice access commands for Windows search related to the start menu also on the dev channel Microsoft is starting to implement this new start menu account manager which looks pretty nice with the mica effect and from here of course you can manage your Microsoft account including this cloud storage in Microsoft 365 and also the sign up button was moved here instead of it being here related to Windows share in Windows if you want to share a file you're gonna see this new copy button that you can use to easily copy a file and also on Microsoft Edge and also on the Microsoft Store and certain apps we have the option to create a QR code for that certain link and also of course right now you also have this close button you can no longer dismiss the window by clicking outside of it and if your Microsoft account uses a Gmail address you can now send emails to yourself from Windows Share window and receive it on your Gmail account. Microsoft also added support for emoji 15.1 but this is currently bugged this is one of the things that is bugged on this feature rollout so I think this is one of the reasons why Microsoft paused the rollout of these new features. Also whenever you have personalization and other Windows settings toggled on under settings accounts and Windows backup many of your sound settings will be backed up which can be restored in the Windows backup app. Microsoft is also introducing some of these new banners which will help you add a recovery phone number or a recovery email if you need one in your account. And also the rename your PC dialog was changed as well as the change the date and time dialog. And there are also a few fixes rolled out to the latest build for the dev channel. For example, a lot of fixes related to the task manager and reliability improvements all around. Related to graphics, Microsoft fixed an issue where some monitors would get stuck at 60 hertz refresh rate and couldn't be set higher even though the monitor supported it because the dynamic refresh rate was stuck. Also, Microsoft fixed an issue where the option to set a different wallpaper on each desktop wasn't working. And there are also a few other fixes that you can check out if you go and look at the article below in the video description or on the official Microsoft blog post. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget Forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.